Previously on Left Behind. In the last eight minutes, the frequency of meteor hits has climbed off the charts. Forward command, please advise. We have increasing meteoric and atmospheric. Whoa. Huh. Whoa. What's that? Light in the sky. Ray, what's, what's wrong? You okay? I, uh, uh, you want me to go get Leah? No, no, no. Uh, what's going on? Something's happening. Uh, uh, yeah, it's oh. plain as day, right up in the sky. No, what's no, 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 something different. Uh, oh. What are you going on about? Mac, I don't believe this! Based on Glorious Appearing, the 12th book in the best-selling series, Tyndale House Publishers proudly presents episode 138 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. Infirmary will still be here when you get back. You have to see this. You won't report me? <laughs> to who? <laughs> Come on, get out here. Wow. Yeah. That's what I said. Ray, come on now. That look on your face has scared me, brother. Are you okay or not? No, oh, no. I, I really think I, I, I wait, am. Wait, wait, where do you think you're going? You can see fine through this window right here. Mac, my legs, my, my. I do not believe this. But believe what? Where are you Mac, going? I thought I'd stand up. For All right, a while. now don't get ahead of yeah. yourself, partner. Let's just I'll take this one step take a at a walk. time. Maybe I'll you're even wander around outside for standing? a better view. Yeah. Standing? Apparently, I'm fine. Now, what, what are you saying? What I'm saying is no pain, no wounds. I mean, look at look at this. What? The hole in my temple. It is gone in my <laughs> my ankle. My ankle. <laughs> my God, there is not even a scar. You do <laughs> not <laughs> say. I do say. Okay, let me get dressed. Oh. Let's get out of here, man. Come on, come on. We're I, I don't know. No, no, Ray, listen, I mean, either sit there and watch or help me find my shoes because with or without them, I am walking out of here. Huh, I feel naughty. Hey, this was your idea. <laughs> Worth it, though, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Mm. You know... It's a good thing we are top-notch professional healthcare providers. Yep. <laughs> Why? Well, were we not top-notch healthcare providers, completely focused on the well-being of our patients, we might regret the fact that we have to work while most everybody else gets to watch the sky. Yeah, I can see what you mean. It's a good thing. Duty calls. Let's go. Hey, maybe we'll get a bigger crown, seeing that we were working right up to... The... Last... Oh... Oh, Kane, that Mrs. Fenstein. Where do you think you're going with... A broken hip? Oh, 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 dancing, I believe. You have a very nice place here. Well, thank you for all you've done in... But I'm quite serious about fighting a dead husband. <laughs> yeah, ta -ta. Uh, 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 Morris, we generally don't want to walk around two hours after surgery. Open heart surgery, sweetie. Want to see the scar? Too bad. Ta da! Oh, God. See ya. Leah, that man. There was no. Hello? Yes, Rayford Steele, please. Walked out. Barefoot? No. No message. Huh. Hannah, my dear. 
it appears that we're out of work. Yeah, it uh, looks that way. <laughs> Gentlemen, listen up. We have our assignments. It's time to go to work. Finally. We got the big one. We'll secure the Seek, the only way in or out of the city of Petra. And by secure, I mean plug. Anyone trying to get out deals with us. And this is a no prisoners off. Do you anticipate resistance? We can only hope. <laughs> the main assault will follow. Once we secure the Seek, the end is in sight, gentlemen. <laughs> now mount up. Be ready to ride on my command. Are you ready, brother? Of course. For Carpathia! For Carpathia! First unit, formation! Easy, my guy. Easy. Do the horses know something we don't? It is a lightning that makes them nervous, huh? Just them, brother. Lock and load! I'll see you after, brother. After. On my count, advance. Now! 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 Stand by, Otto. They, uh, they look like they're moving. The cross in the sky is making the horses skittish! Mm. Yeah, they're on the move, no doubt about it. I can see the riders heading toward us. Command One, I have new orders. Repeat, new orders. Hold your fire. I repeat, hold your fire. George, what's happening there? I want you to hold your... Sir, they're moving on us. Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your faith, Otto? Command One, this is Area Four. They're right on top of us, sir. Stand by, and do not open fire. May I say something, sir? No. Follow orders. Yeah. Save orders! They're not moving! All the better. First wave! Report! No effect, sir! Say again! Our sabers have no effect! They pass right through! Switching to firearms! Fire open! Why is this happening? Sergeant, we must withdraw! Do not withdraw! Reinforcements are coming. Repeat. Reinforcements are on the way. Find a neutralized leader. I see one. That man right there. Let's get him. I'll kill him myself. Bruno, wait. Son of the devil, I will kill you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, you may want to rethink that son of the devil stuff, son. Away from him. Uh, you may want to be careful with that. Might end up shooting somebody. Get away from him! Move! Uh, why don't you take a look around, Charlie? You can't stop us. Your swords go right through us. Your bullets never hit their mark. I said move. Sorry, kid. Now, what do you say you drop the gun and clear off? That's it. Uh, uh, Bruno! I even warned you. Get out of the way. Hold it. Hold it. I'm here. I'm here. Hold it. You. I'll kill you! Don't you see what's happening? You can't kill us. Carpathia's time is over. I'll see you dead, Judahite. Get it right, boy. I'm not a Judahite. Ah. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Keep watching the sky. He's gonna show up any second. Nikolai, save us! You're a fool! Nikolai? Uh, Nikolai... Oh. Look, I promise you'll... 
get these boots back. Well, now I can't tell you how relieved I am to know that, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, can't tell you how relieved I am to be mobile again. <laughs> all right, so what's the plan with all this restored mobility? Look, lots to see, Mac. Time to get in the middle of it. Well, there is one little matter we may want to consider. What's that? Well, we got no business skedaddling out of here if you're healthy enough to fight. What? You heard me. Oh, now, don't do this to me I now, Mac. I don't want to be here any more than you do, Ray, but Sebastian, Razor, Otto, they're all out there trying to hold the perimeter. Ah, Hey, sorry, just reminding you what's going on back in the world of us mobile folk, Ray. Ah! <sighs> Wait, you're staying either way. What am I going to do? Watch? It would have to get parental on me all of a sudden. Was... You got a radio. Ray, you do what you got to do. Ah. I'll understand. Uh, Here. Yeah. Thank you. Big Dog One, come in. This is Big Dog One. Talk to me, Ray. I am back and ready for duty. If you need the help, Mac and I are there. Just say the word. Otherwise, we are in the air. <laughs> well, you and Mac get your pair of knuckleheads in the air right now. And if you don't, I'll come up there and bounce something off of them. Uh, George, you sound rather lighthearted considering the circumstances. You wouldn't believe what's going on if I told you, Ray. Uh, I might. Try me. Well, uh, we're walking through a sea of the Unity Army. Nothing they do touches us. Not blades, not bullets, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Then you'll believe it when I tell you that when the cross appeared in the sky, God healed me. <laughs> well, I'd believe about anything right now, buddy. <laughs> Have a great time. We'll see you in a while. Oh, you got it. The reports about Captain Steele are true, Cheng. I just saw him with Mac. Walking. Incredible. He, he must have been healed just as the sign lit up the sky. What's happening on our perimeter? Sebastian's been overrun. Really? But from what I hear, nobody got hurt. How is that possible? <laughs> How is any of this possible? Uh, hang on. Tech Center. Chang, Ray Steele. Captain, we were just talking about you, so it's true. Uh, uh, sure, Chang, whatever it is, let's just go ahead and say it's true. Look, I need a favor. Name it. Sebastian doesn't need us and can't use us. They're coming in to join the remnant. Their work's done. Unity forces are pretty tight around this place. Won't they have to come through them to get inside? Well, not exactly. They're already in the middle of them. Turns out the enemy has no power over them. <laughs> so I've been hearing. That's pretty cool. Uh, what does that mean for you and Mac? Well, Mac's going to take his chopper up, and I've decided to head out on an ATV. I'm going to need one of the bigger ones for the slopes, though, so do you know where any are right now? <laughs> you sure you want to go back out on one of those? <laughs> what are the odds, Chang? i got to climb back on the horse, as they say. <laughs> okay, um... You know where the co-op has been staging out of? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, by the old stadium. Yeah, uh, the best ATVs are kept there. Ride one of the small ones over, and I'll let Lionel Whalem know you'll be swapping it out. All right, thanks. You know where you're headed with it, or do I want to know? Ah, uh, Mac's going to be spotting for me over the Unity Army, trying to find the big man himself. I want to see how close I can get. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? And you know where I'll be. Ah, uh, we couldn't survive without you, Jake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eliezer, I don't mind telling you that at moments such as this, Rabbi Ben Judah is sorely missed. You have done an admirable job. All the elders respect you. Yes, but Sion simply had to, to lean forward or take a breath, and everyone drew their attention to him. Were I to stand on my head in the center of the room, they would still babble on like, like chickens. Perhaps I can help. I would be grateful. I will hold your ankles for you while you stand on your head. <laughs> <laughs> and now, if I can just find someone to babble like a chicken. <laughs> oh, I would be honored to establish order for you. You are indeed a, a wonderful ally. <sighs> if you could... Gather their attention. Yes, certainly. Brothers, brothers, at this time, I would ask that you please give your attention to Dr. Rosenzweig. Thank you, Eliezer. Thank you, brothers. I need not tell you that much is, is taking place at this very moment. 
I'm sure you've been made aware of the healings that took place when the glorious sign appeared. Gentlemen, please. I'm sure you are also aware that the Unity Army is closing in tighter by the minute. Please, we must have order. I will quickly remind you that we saw members of the same army get swallowed up by the earth the first time they dared approach, and we danced in the fire they sent us the second time. That being the case, we are here to talk about more important issues. What is more important is that we prepare not for the coming of an oppressor's army, but for the king of kings. Please, listen to me. I have prepared a plan by which all can be positioned to see the area around Petra, and more importantly, the sky. Please look at the chart carefully so that you will know where to tell your group leaders to take their people. The first 40 groups of 1,000 each can move to within 10 feet of the edge, but they must all be willing to sit once they first get there. It is of crucial importance that the next 60 groups behind them not press forward, or we could lose tens of thousands over the side. This would not be good. Identify yourself. Citizen of Petra. You're now a prisoner of war. Step off the ATV. Prisoner! You planning on taking us all prisoner? There's another million or so up the way. We have some questions for you. You will dismount the vehicle now. And then you're gonna let me go? Corporal, get him off the vehicle. Hold on, hold on. I'll tell you what you want to know. Start talking. Why didn't you take one of the perimeter guards hostage and ask them questions? They've been neutralized. Neutralized? You, you mean you killed them? They're all dead. That a fact. Get your hands up. Relax, will you? It's just a radio. Get them up now. Command one, this is two. Come in. One here. What's up, Ray? I will not ask you again, Ray. Now, this should just take a second. Hold on. What's going on there, Cap? How we doing? Any casualties? <laughs> casualties? You're not talking about our side, right? I'll take that as a negative. Not a scratch. So I can blow them off if I want to? Where are you? About a mile south of the Sikh. Mister, do you want to get shot? I'm about half a mile down from you, and I'm on the way in. So, you got friends around you as well? You could say that. Open fire! Sorry, guys, that's just not going to get the job done. What on earth? Kill him! Love to stay in chat. Coming through. Excuse me! Excuse me! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Chang, look at that thing! It's already on most of the video feeds. Wow, that's big. <laughs> not hard to figure out, is it? No, a perfectly formed cross is not exactly subtle. It's really happening, isn't it? Looks that way. So, what were you just looking at? Uh, the Jewish revival. Yeah? Went completely off the charts with the start of the lightning storm. Wow, it's really happening. Come in, Captain. Yeah, Mac, you got a spot on Carpathia? Yeah, it wasn't tough. I just had to look for the lawn chairs. Lawn chairs? <laughs> His brass are sitting around in loungers watching television. Well, at least they're comfortable. Nick wasn't too far away. He's got every light in the hemisphere pointed at him. I'm at 500 feet and can see his baby blue. Ah, what's he doing other than posing on the horse? Yeah, he's off the horse now, pacing back and forth. If you ask me, he doesn't look like he's too happy with the disposition of his army. Lawn chairs are just not aggressive enough for him, apparently. Okay, uh, Nick just hopped into a big Humvee that's lined up in front of a convoy of smaller Hummers, SUVs, and uh, APCs. No, oh, hold on, Mac. I, I got company. Uh, anything you need help with? Ah, uh, friendlies, Mac. I'll check back with you later. Roger. 
Hey there, buddy. Is this the road to Toledo? Yeah, straight ahead. Make a left at the first evil ruler. <laughs> Is this incredible or what? Hey, you want to have some fun? Oh, Ray, I spent my 23rd birthday on the Fort McCoy firing range, and that wasn't even close to the fun I'm having today. <laughs> Look, I'm going to hook up with Carpathia's parade and tag along. Oh, tempting. I'm making an order so I don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Something you'd rather be doing, George? Uh, well, I do have a lot of people who hung in on the perimeter. I can't just drive off on them now. Ah, it's not like defense is an issue anymore, right? Yeah, no. But I want some of my volunteer corps up front to see this. It's kind of like the payoff. Ah, can't argue with that. <laughs> Carry on. I'll see you later. Count on it. My friend. What is it? Lack of fate, I, I suppose, Eliezer. Oh, surely not. The Lord has brought us too far, showed us too much. Can there be any doubt that he will appear and rescue us at the appointed time? But what is that time, brother? Mm. Cheng's people tell me the unity army has cleared the western slope for a rolling armada with Carpathia himself in the lead. All the more reason to believe Messiah is coming soon. He, he will not fail us, will not break his promises. I believe that, Eliezer. Of course you do. So, what troubles you? Things have been left unsaid. By you? I cannot imagine it. <laughs> the imagery of the glorious appearing, it, it is so rich. Tion and I both have spent so much time insisting on a literal approach to the scriptures that I fear I have neglected some of the clearly symbolic references in the glorious appearing passages. Perhaps there will still be time. Why don't we discuss it outside? But I must make notes. Do you want to be in here scribbling when it happens? Bring pen and paper with you, Chaim. But come, please. Hey, uh, Chang, this is Mac. Go ahead, Mac. Uh, GC Radio is only carrying utility and support traffic. Can you find us the command and control frequency? <laughs> finding it's easy. I'm parked on it now. Oh. The challenge is finding the endpoint in a revolving algorithm that's being used by the scrambler. If I can grab it in the next two minutes, we're in good shape. Oh, why two minutes? The algorithm changes itself after that, and I have to start over. If I pick up the cycle, the new start point is handed out in the last packet, and we stay connected. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and take your word on it, okay? It's pretty basic stuff, really. Well, that's great, Chang. Patch that basic stuff through to me as soon as you get it, okay? <laughs> Rayford already made the same request. As soon as I get it, I'll put it in your Command 3 channel. Thanks a lot, bud. Sisters in the Messiah, we gather here in this historic place. We stand on the precipice of all time with the shadow of history behind us and eternity before us. Hey, Ray, uh, quite a view up here. Uh, quite the view down here as well. Yeah, but I'm guessing you're not going to have so many postcards of what you're seeing. <laughs> the uh, Redstone City is uh, lit from the cross above, and it has a glow. Uh, the source of light is certainly unique. Yeah. They have the nicest little corridor cut out for the big cheese. Yeah, I know. I'm in it. <laughs> oh, well, uh, okay then. <laughs> uh, hey, Chang, say anything about their command radio? Yeah, the short version is that he's uh, working on it. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, look, in the meantime, our command channel, too, just went live. Sounds like a meeting. Guess I'll listen in. Be careful up there. Uh, you know, Ray, I'd uh, say the same to you, but I think we're beyond that. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Literal. The word of God is sharp and powerful enough to slay the enemy, literally tearing them to pieces. Prepare to be amazed at what your God will do! Left Behind, the dramatic audio series, is based in part on the book Glorious Appearing by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. Sound design by Glenn West. Music by Steve Wick. Directed and produced by Todd Bastide. 
Left Behind, the dramatic audio series, is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening.